Well, this weekend, thousands will be in Chicago for the Mexican Independence Day celebrations. They include one event that returns today following a 10-year hiatus. Judy joins us live from downtown Chicago with more details. Hey, Judy. Good morning. Up to 12,000 people are expected to attend El Grito, Chicago, which kicks off at 2 this afternoon. Besides this celebration, events are taking place in Pilsen and Little Village. Now, some people started partying last night, prompting the Office of Emergency Management to implement intermittent street closures. The city and many downtown residents were bracing for the chaos seen in previous years. The number of revelers last night and early this morning did not appear to be as high. Revelers, for the most part, stayed on or near Michigan Avenue. Police took away some people's wooden flagpoles for safety reasons. We did not see any clashes with officers. The alert about street closures went out at about 1040 p.m. In the past, revelers and caravans took over loop streets, set off fireworks, causing traffic jams that lasted hours. With the return of a downtown celebration, community leaders hope to deter people from participating in caravans. I want to say is arriba Zacatecas, arriba Mexico, y ya saben. Top-notch bands, uh, incredible restaurants. We're going to have a couple of really good chefs, you know, doing some sampling here, uh, we, you know, encouraging people to come. I can't stop smiling, you know, ever since Monday, since this city was being built. And it's, it's amazing what's going on here. Our people deserve the best. El Grito runs today and tomorrow from 2 until 10 at Butler Field. It is being billed as family friendly. Organizers have been planning the festival for two and a half years and convinced the city to allow it to happen. Now, Sunday at noon is when the Mexican Independence Day parade starts in Little Village. The Chicago area is home to nearly 2 million people of Mexican descent. Now, OEMC says that it could restrict uh, access to downtown because of this event and Little Village at any time uh, due to events actually in both areas. Last year, Chicago police made any 80 arrests related to the caravan celebrations. We reached out to CPD this morning and a spokesperson did not yet have any numbers from any arrests from last night. In Grant Park, Judy Wang, WGN News.